So good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this webinar offered by the European School Education Platform, the European Commission's platform for school education in Europe. My name is Nikki, and I will be your host for today. Uh, as Marta just said, uh, we are recording this webinar, uh, so the recording might be used for dissemination purposes. Um, also, we have uh, about an hour, so if you have any questions for the speakers, uh, feel free to post them in the chat. Uh, the focus for today's webinar is how to become an e-twinning school, collaboration in practice. Today we'll be, we will explore this topic by examining how two passionate teachers embedded e-twinning into their curriculum and how collaboration both inside and outside of the school can lead to new learning methods and innovative pedagogies. It is my pleasure to invite on the virtual stage uh, Elena Pezzi and uh, later hopefully also Marisa Vadini, uh, two experienced in she is here. She's here. OK, <laughs> great. Okay. Um, so it's my pleasure to welcome both of them to the virtual stage. Uh, they are two experienced and passionate e-twinners from Italy. Uh, Elena and Marisa, uh, the, fl uh, the floor is all yours. OK, thank you. So as Marisa has already entered the, <laughs> the room, uh, I don't know if she can speak, she can uh, open our uh, microphone otherwise because this slide was hers otherwise i'll go and well just to to start this is the the idea we'd like to to share with you this afternoon first of all thanks a lot for inviting us uh, today to to share our experiences our uh, well the, the collaboration we tried to to put in practice in our schools and this first uh, slide is intended to to give you the idea of what collaboration is within the framework of a twinning school because E-twinning schools actually display a strong commitment to collaboration, sharing and teamwork. This is the main idea and the leading thread that we'd like today to share with you. Teachers in the school work together as a team. This is the, the important idea to plan their e-twinning and other pedagogical activities and share their experiences and practices with their colleagues, both inside and outside their school. Oh, oh. I don't see my presentation any longer. What happened? Well, we can so, see it, Elena. Okay, you can see it. It uh, it disappeared from my <laughs> from my desktop. And they collaborate on providing an e-twinning action plan and use it to drive innovation and change in their school and beyond. So this is our leading thread for today e-tweening and other pedagogical activities, collaboration within this framework. So just a little bit, what are we talking about today? These very, very simple ideas. First of all, who we are, because you will see that we belong to two different um, educational contexts. So this is important for what we are uh, going to say in a while. Our context, of course, BC versus AC, you know, before COVID and after COVID, you know that those two periods of time supposed a great, a great different set and a difference in working at school and outside school. So following this idea, our experiences, what we did with our colleagues and other uh, participants in our educational community. Some hints and tips, nothing special, nothing particularly relevant, but our experience again. And of course, you've got the floor at the end if you've got questions, doubts, experiences, comments, whatever, the floor is yours. So first of all, Marisa, are you there? Unfortunately, she is not here. We cannot find her in the list, so we are trying to talk to her in the background, but she's not here, definitely. <laughs> she wrote to me, I'm in, 
and I asked her where. <laughs> I hope she's she's there. Well, I'll try to I, I, I start and then as soon as Marina uh, as uh, Marisa appears, please interrupt me and <laughs> give the give the floor to to Marisa. OK, so uh, just um, a short uh, overview and a short introduction of ourselves, because as I told you, we belong to, to different, very different educational contexts. Marisa uh, was a primary teacher. She worked uh, for lots of years at the um, Ottavo Circolo uh, in Piacenza, which which is a primary school, pre-primary and primary school uh, in the northern part of Italy, my same region, Emilia Romagna. Uh, I, I would say at the two opposite uh, poles of Emilia Romagna, Piacenza, quite near to Milan, and I'm Elena, I'm a Spanish teacher, that's why my English is mm, a little bit huh, worried. Um, I'm a Spanish teacher at a secondary, upper secondary school in Bologna, which is the capital of Emilia Romagna, of our region. And uh, you, you will see here our wonderful cloister. Sorry to interrupt you, Elena, okay. but I think we are good to go because Marisa is here. Marisa, can you open your microphone? Oh, OK, great. Just to to end my introduction, I work at Liceo Laura Bassi, Upper Secondary School, and uh, Ufficio Scolastico Regionale, which is the regional department of the Ministry of Education uh, in our region, in, uh, in Italy and in our region, where I work with teacher trainers. I, um, I do research about uh, innovative pedagogies and digital um, methodologies and so on. Marisa, the floor is yours. OK, OK. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, we can. I, I'm really sorry, but uh, I was listening to you. I was hearing everything, but it was uh, quite difficult for me. Now I'm here. And uh, Elena introduced me, so we can uh, go on. And um, I can uh, talk about my experience. I, I apologize for this uh, inconvenience, but uh, I'm, uh, uh, I was teacher at Ottavo Circolo Piacenza, and now I'm a supporter for a European dimension in CLIL, and uh, I'm a trainer as well. And uh, the background of our school, that uh, is a cluster of seven schools, two primary and five pre-primary schools. Um, it's uh, um, connected with the European dimension. We started from uh, communion experience, but uh, the real experience for collaboration was uh, uh, built up uh, uh, thanks to uh, Erasmus, Erasmus K1, and, and then uh, partnerships in K2 projects that were joined with the uh, twinning projects as well. And so we had uh, the opportunity to have uh, different quality labels, to win a prize, and to uh, win also the European language label and take part. Uh, uh, we were a twinning school and we took part in the monitoring and development activities uh, for uh, e-twinning schools. That's why you can uh, go on, Elena, thank you. And uh, uh, that's why uh, the first step uh, for our collaboration inside um, our institution that has seven schools also located in different places of our town was just the European School Development Plan uh, we did for, a, uh, for our K1 Open Roads to Europe, where we uh, had the opportunity to share uh, to share our aims uh, together as a school that wa that uh, wanted to to match the best uh, the best uh, goals uh, for our uh, collaboration. In fact, 
we um, had the continuity of our uh, school that was our primary goal and it was made up by uh, the English communication starting from pre-primary schools and then uh, implementing CLIL in primary school and was aimed at inclusion at uh, a European uh, dimension uh, based on European key competencies and also uh, to foster ICT skills. And it was the first step for a real uh, collaborative practice that we started. Uh, Elena. Okay. Elena. Yeah, <laughs> I was uh, running a little bit too much. Yeah. If Marisa's context is what she has said to you, my context, uh, as I said before, is a little bit different because I'm um, a Spanish teacher at a secondary, upper secondary school. So, um, you know, in Italy, uh, it is sometimes difficult to, to foster collaboration, to have um, spontaneous collaboration between teachers in upper secondary schools. Um, I hope that other colleagues experience is different, but in my school it was quite uh, quite difficult to to have this kind of spontaneous collaboration. So in back in 2019, seems a prehistorical age, um, we tried to um, to carry out um, a pilot project. The two words, I mean, School Education Gateway and Twinning, were still separated. There was no ESEP platform. And we, um, we gathered together. We were 10 teachers from 10 different countries in, uh, in Europe. And we, um, we, started, we, we started carrying out a um, pilot project uh, promoted by Teacher Academy from School Education Gateway. And it was a school-based case study. This project was uh, aimed at um, analyzing how online courses could be used more systematically at school level to support teachers' professional development and collaboration. So it was um, a pilot project aimed at fostering collaboration and training inside school in order to help teachers to develop their prof profession and to improve their, um, their skills. I was saying 2019 was ages ago. It was before COVID. We could meet together on site, face to face, and we gathered together, we met together to learn together and to learn how to collaborate together in a more effective way, both for ourselves, teachers, as well as for in order to better help our students to collaborate together themselves. So we met and we followed, we carried out a series of activities, collaborative activities, and we followed um, MOOC a massive open online course organized by a Teacher Academy. But as you all know, COVID appeared and in 2020 and 21, on-site meeting were, uh, weren't allowed. So we, co we couldn't meet on-site. That's why we decided to go online and to meet online to uh, keep learning together as we experienced such a, a positive um, aspect of on-site collaboration of learning together we decided to keep on doing that online and uh, the same uh, the same was uh happened to us uh, as uh, we uh, were selected among the six uh, twinning school to take part in the twinning school monitoring and development activity at european level guided by the twinning uh, central support service and uh, as uh, these uh, six schools uh, uh, six representative schools 
uh, met in Brussels for two on-site uh, meetings and then uh, we had to take online meeting just cause it was uh, 2019 and then uh, COVID appeared. But uh, the idea, the aim of this uh, of this uh, pro uh, project was uh, to create a network uh, at a European uh, dimension about uh, exchange of, of good practices to become a twinning school. And the action that were um, uh, the goals of this uh, project, of these activities, were to, play, to draft and implement an action plan inside each school, and then share our experiences and also have an uh, develop an interdisciplinary twinning project uh, in pairs uh, so we could experience the training for to become an e-twinning school mission. Uh, you can uh, now go on, Elena, thank you. And uh, we started to ask how can we do to reach effective collaboration? And uh, here we uh, found uh, the second opportunity and the second step, also joining collaboration with a shared leadership approach. In fact, uh, we started to um, share a vision and a mission centered on students' uh, learning needs and supported by the center support service and the, the example of the other school in France, Romania, Turkey, Spain, we could uh, start the process of a shared leadership, integrating teachers' competencies and expertise in the process of our uh, development uh, as a twinning school. We created and supported continuous learning opportunities, fostering also team learning, working and planning, and uh, trying to implement uh, uh, collaboration at the local, national and uh, international level. How uh, did uh, we uh, could reach uh, these uh, aims? Uh, we can go on. Uh, our steps to implement the twin in school action, as uh, our action plan was just to reach uh, a best collaboration, a better collaboration, uh, were uh, just uh, the ones to monitoring our school needs, both as teacher and also the staff needs and uh, the the organizational problem uh, we had to solve. We started to share a common vision, mission, researching um, to engage all the teachers and discovering their uh, expertise. We had also uh, outside school meetings. We, we tried, me and um, the other colleague that was in Brussels with me, we were the two um, headmaster deputies, and we started to uh, find opportunity to meet also in um, informal ways, so with other teachers to connect it, uh, each other. And so distributed leadership was developed uh, through commission teams, to subject teachers teams uh, for different subjects, but also great teams to connect the pedagogical action and, uh, and to uh, collaborate inside uh, the classroom and our project teams taking part in different projects, Erasmus, eTwinning, but also local or national projects. And so uh, trying to join all these different teamwork. Uh, we can go on, Elena. And uh, so we carried out uh, trainings and uh, online workshops on European dimension. And this program went on for three years to enhance continuity among the two school orders, mutual support, international projects. And we also, uh, the following slide can uh, show you that we also um, were supported uh, uh, with our uh, online dimension of uh, teaching training, uh, teacher training 
in uh, at COVID times, because it was possible for us to keep connected, uh, even if uh, we couldn't meet face to face. As uh, Piacenza was the first town who closed the schools in February, and uh, in February 90, uh, 2020, and we couldn't reopen schools. So uh, our connection that we had established before were really supportive. And the, the following slide will show you how we um, implemented collaboration through the project. One was the, the one that uh, supported the monitoring and development activity and was made up with the Spanish uh, partner. And uh, the others supported at the same way because we created another project. We went on with our Erasmus project that was connected with an equining one. And so, uh, traditional IT, the following slide, is showing how we reach uh, our um, our, uh, the goals that we try to reach. First of all, uh, the project uh, was um, involving engaging all the students from pre-primary to, prim uh, to primary with three different levels of development, even if on the same topics that we had planned. And the teachers collaborated and we uh, supported the training uh, to implement the project, also knowing the better use of the platform, the training platform, new tools, and so on. We improved the collaboration, and we also uh, improved uh, our um, learning, uh, our language uh, skills. Teachers improved their language communication skills, and they open it to local and international um, collaboration, uh, just uh, learning by doing and improving uh, step by step, uh, even if we finished this project in distance. And uh, um, you can go on, Elena, thank you. And uh, we, uh, to improve and um, increase our collaboration just in such difficult times, we created a twinning group. It was Ottavo Circoli twinning group, and it was for teachers at our schools that uh, had the opportunity to find in, on the twinning platform, in the twin space, a repository where to share ideas, project, uh, projects, materials, also um, including new arrived teachers, new enrolled teachers in our school and uh, letting them uh, uh, enter and collaborate. It was a great uh, support uh, that was uh, also uh, integrated with the sum equining projects we uh, created for continuity. And uh, they were just for our school, but we could use uh, the, plat the twinning platform to collaborate pre-primary to primary. And, uh, and uh, it was a great opportunity for all the students uh, to teach and the students to teach to the younger one even if uh, online, because uh, we couldn't meet uh, face to face. And it was the, the great opportunity of it winning. And so collaboration supported uh, the school goals from uh, the coordination of the staff to uh, the collaboration with teachers. And uh, we um, improve the creativity, inclusion, flexibility, and also the school uh, special events that could be uh, organized thanks uh, to this uh, collaborative atmosphere. And uh, we had uh, different events uh, from concert to uh, special events, solidarity markets and Erasmus days that uh, went uh, uh, went on and uh, contributed to strength uh,
different forms of uh, teamwork and integration to integrate each other. Okay, okay so yeah, uh, thanks Marisa. Uh, please do take for granted and do consider that all the uh, the aspects that Marisa has covered in explaining her experience are the same that we experienced in our school with some uh, little differences. As I told you before, I think that in Italy it is more difficult to have a spontaneous collaboration uh, among teachers in an upper secondary school and above all a general upper secondary school, not vet school for instance. I'm I'm thinking about this difference. So for us, it was a big challenge to, to try to implement these school-based case study in our school. Uh, and we, we met together. It was our school is quite a big school. Uh, we are more or less 180 teachers in our school. And for us, it was um, a huge success to, to meet uh, more or less a third of the of the, the teachers who are in our schools and we met together to um, follow to take the introdu uh, introducing project based learning in your classroom MOOC. So it was um, a, a sort of collaboration aimed at learning something together. Of course, we we had we encountered some main challenges, some issues, but we tried to to find possible solutions to to those challenges. The biggest challenge was time. Time constraints. Teachers are always very busy, always. But the period of time we chose to follow the the course, to take the course, was actually it was really a very very busy period and um, a lot of teachers couldn't do the homework assigned by the course uh, by, by foreseen by the course itself another uh, challenge another issue english you know uh, upper secondary school my school is a school formed by a good number of old teachers english was a problem for um, quite a good number of them. Not for everyone, of course, but for many teachers, yes. But what was the, the positive aspect? They engaged anyway in the course. And last but not least, ICT is a pro was a problem. Not for everyone again, but for many teachers, yes. And maybe Remember, it was before COVID. It was in 2019. At that time, ICT was a great challenge, a great issue for a good number of teachers. I don't want to say that COVID uh, was uh, something positive. It was not, of course, but one good lesson we taught by COVID was that we all the teachers were forced to go online and to improve their skills on ICT. This was uh, a positive aspect that I will um, take you about, uh, talk you about uh, later on. So given these challenges, which were the possible solutions? First of all, uh, uh, time constraints. Yeah, it's true. We we were working in a very busy period, but taking the course together, working together, uh, realizing the activities together, helped teacher to overcome their problems and to uh, complete the course and the collaborative activities. English is a problem. Well, let's try to reshape the path to summarize the main concepts. Um, let's try to provide some extra time for reflection on the topics uh, for the development of the activities during the meeting uh, meetings themselves. So um, we tried to turn the challenges into opportunities. And 
uh, the same meeting face to face, meeting on site, help the teacher with less language or ICT skills because there was someone always ready to um, to help to overcome issues and challenges. That's why teachers at the end of these collaborative activities gave a very positive feedback about this way of learning and working together. What worked well? Well, they said that it was important to meet together to follow the course. Working together is, without a doubt, much more enjoyable and productive. And the, one of the best ideas, one of the um, added value of this way of collaborating together was the fact that they had a tutor. Uh, a more experienced teacher who helped them and guided them through the activities. They found it very, very useful. Then they also appreci appreciated the use of short videos. Um, if you plan some collaborative activities, learning activities, think about having short pieces of video um, to give useful, useful food for thought or to illustrate how to use some educational tool. So very short uh, pieces of uh, different aspects that could help teachers less skilled. Of course, not everything was wonderful. And the, the biggest problem was again the time, very little time to complete the activities, um, time constraints both at school at a personal level often prevented the completion of the activities themselves. But we have to say that the interest was always very, very high and the desire to complete the, act, the activities was authentic, even because the idea was to put them in practice with the students, which was something very important and something where all the teachers who participated in the course could do. They could put in practice the, the collaborative activities that we carried out together during the, the path, the, the course. And then, uh, that's uh, just uh, what uh, I was do we were we were doing in the next year because uh, the study group experience the pilot study group based on online learning professional development was uh, continued for a second round and we had the great opportunity to take part and taking part in this uh, in this uh, project, in this part, was um, an extra, an extra, an extra, an extra effect to improve collaboration. Uh, this time, we uh, thought it was uh, a great opportunity for us to have professional development online to prepare for Erasmus mobilities, for example. And so if uh, Elena can uh, please echo. And so we uh, set up uh, a study group for this online professional development. We were just uh, truly connected, but uh, having uh, had the accreditation for a new opportunity of development at European um, at European dimension, we prepared uh, and we like to improve uh, our shared action in teaching, and uh, it was a double uh, double goal: improve our learning, uh, in, improve in learning methodologies, in learning language, in trying uh, with students new uh, methodologies and new uh, paths, just uh, keeping uh, in touch with the innovation. 
and prepare to Erasmus mobilities. So 15 teachers took part in this group and they represented all the seven schools of Tavo Circolo with different roles and expertise. Some of them were in the school staff, some others were for pupils' uh, special needs, some others were uh, for inclusion commission, some other for the digital uh, the commission, language commission, and so on. And uh, we follow with three online professional development from webinar to a short course and finally to the book. It, it were uh, three uh, really um, engaged, engaging uh, and challenging uh, Past, but uh, uh, we supported each other and um, we worked, we, we did lots of uh, different meetings, but also small groups. So we worked in small groups uh, supporting each other. I supported because I was quite free to follow uh, the different group, but it was uh, great to see that uh, teachers were uh, satisfied in following these, these courses. They, one of the teachers went uh, to the hospital, but she uh, wanted to continue and she worked in pair with another teacher and it was quite uh, impressing how the the feeling uh, and the passion <laughs> went over the, the challenges, time and, and other things. And uh, we also took a collaborative diary and uh, we tried to implement uh, these actions. It was great as we uh, made the different experience also in outdoor learning. That was one of our priorities. And uh, we felt uh, we felt good. We felt uh, prepared also for Erasmus mobilities. Uh, Elena, if you can. Okay, these were the three uh, opportunities, webinars, and a short course about student as designers of learning spaces that involved lots of teachers and we implemented a lot of these, uh, the, uh, the activities that were uh, um, planned in our uh, in our learning journal. And finally, we took part in a MOOC uh, for shaping lifelong learners that was followed with the great uh, engagement. Someone couldn't finish the course, but everyone was uh, happy to uh, have materials, find uh, new uh, learning opportunities and revise also what was proposed uh in the in the future uh, in uh, during summer and so on so uh what was uh, implemented uh, during these courses was then something that we can uh, we could uh, share because we created if elena can go on uh, with the, the slides we created also an uh, a whatsapp group as a usual now it's uh, quite common to do it but it was useful to for um, quick uh, exchanges of infos but uh, we created another group that was just for the study group and here another twinning group and here we can we could share uh, this experience, this uh, process, and uh, we supported uh, thanks to the opportunity that the twinning offered us. And, um, and finally, in the next slide, you can see uh, our uh, collaborative diary. We, uh, we shared the Padlet when we put uh, materials, uh, experiences, implementation, uh, improvement, uh, following the, the three online uh, professional development. And that's why we uh, can always go to this uh, Padlet and uh, you, you have uh, the, the link if you want to go and uh, and uh, and see and we share the materials and we are um, 
always going there for success, uh, for other uh, other works, uh, other experiences. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, how. Um, this project, this second part, this second year of the um, pilot worked. And in that pilot, we were, uh, um, we were asked to do something more. Those of us who were in the, in the first pilot, we were asked to do something more. And what I tried to do more was um, gathering the experience we first had uh, at the very beginning of the COVID time, I mean the lockdown, uh, being forced to work from home, uh, isolated but uh, using eTwinning platform as a way to, to stay together, to overcome this difficult period, we tr I tried to put it in practice uh, with another uh, or from another point of view. We always, we can always learn together and collaborate despite the difficult situation. So um, having experienced that learning together online was possible and even uh, more useful for more people because you can connect from different places and you can learn from different situations and contexts. So the, the learning is even richer if you can adopt this way of thinking. We met together again. We were teachers from all over the region, not only from my school, but teachers, you can see here, uh, teachers from all over Emilia Romagna. We took another um, course from another MOOC from School Education Gateway, from Teacher Academy, and we started collaborating together in an online way. We could do that thanks to a platform we have at regional level. As I said before, I have a part-time job at the Regional Ministry of Education in, in Emilia-Romagna and there we, we have a, a platform and we offer uh, training courses through this platform that you see here. We could uh, have online collaboration wider than face-to-face -face, thanks to this platform. We formed a regional group of teachers and digital trainers because uh, as, uh, as a group uh, at the regional level, we deal with digital trainers uh, from the different schools of the region. We met via Meet or Teams or any other uh, digital platform and we worked together, we collaborated together, sharing presentations, Padlet, as Marisa has already shown you. Um, we shared our learning, learning diaries and we tried to, to think, to organize, to plan some collaborative activities to put in practice together later on with our students, both online because uh, the following year, uh, the, the school year 2021 20, was already a year where when we had classes mixed both online and on site. And another added value was the middle management staff. I mean, a group of teachers who already had the experience of collaborating together face to face on site and they could help those teachers who met online for the first time to take these courses to um, do these collaborative activities. This middle management who was very, very helpful to solve doubts to help teachers in order to overcome uh, any possible issue. So these experience helped more schools to collaborate together, which was an incredible success uh, seen from our point of view, because we couldn't imagine that we could reach so many teachers 
all over our region and even outside our region because lots of teachers uh, knew that possibility and they um, they enrolled this platform, they entered this platform to take the course and to collaborate uh, together. So to sum up, it's already time to, to go towards the end. Uh, to sum up our experience, what we can say, we can give you some hints and tips. And as, as I said before, it's nothing special. It's nothing um, extraordinary. It's simply our experience, which, for instance, um, suggests us to tell you, please do start always with a survey on the school staff needs. Be uh, accurate, be sincere about the needs of your colleagues and of your teachers at school, about professional development and collaboration. Uh, again, it's important to designate, to choose a responsible person to monitor the whole team's progress during the development of the activities. There should be someone who is in charge of the, the, the progress of the whole activity to, to check if everything is going well. You know the acronym TEAM, together everybody achieves more. Set up group, gr group studies so that participants can support and motivate each other. Being together, it's, it's obvious. We are saying something really, really obvious, but doing things together can produce greater and higher results. So do it together. Of course, be very careful with time management, tasks and deadlines for the foreseen activities, time constraints. Uh, we will repeat it endlessly. And of course, create repositories with the materials created. Uh, Marisa showed you um, the, the groups, the twinning groups they created. We created a new twinning group, but also a drive, a shared drive with all the materials in order to make use of them in other educational contexts with our students, for instance, but also to make them available for the wider audience, the wider educational community. So it's very important to keep this idea of sharing, sharing uh, always in mind. And so to set up a community of practice, uh, first of all, as Elena was saying just before, it's teacher collaboration at a different level, but with um, uh, giving value to each one. It's important to give value of the different expertise and uh, student collaboration, improving student collaboration as well. Also, collaboration between students and teachers, creating a sort of research of uh, common path uh, for development, just discovering together. Uh, innovative uh, paths and then collaborate collaboration with parents uh, it's uh, important and other stakeholders because uh, uh, for example we tried to we had uh, different opportunity to collaborate with uh, local agencies with municipality uh, students became health ambassadors for example working with uh, LILT or Infambiente for uh, sustainability. It's important that collaboration uh, goes uh, uh, outside the school and spread is the idea that school promotes uh, collaboration, links and um, being, uh, being, uh, being active at different level, of course, in international collaboration with projects like Erasmus e Twinning uh, that uh, support this uh, wonderful uh, net uh, of uh, teachers at school all allow around Europe and beyond. Yeah, our goal is to go well beyond Europe. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you, you see, uh, in this uh, presentation we've put all the links. Uh, we didn't open them because we, we 
we didn't we don't have time to do that but if you want to to go and click on the links we've put on our uh, presentation you will see a little bit more in depth what we did in and what was our experience and if you're looking for more info about, about these uh, experience we we carried out we both carried out um, last week just one week ago uh, this article was, was published. Uh, you can have a look at this uh, this article on the on a zap on on the platform. So um, you can have a wider uh, overview and a wider look on how school based study groups can facilitate professional development for teachers. Of course, always with the aim with the goal uh, of fostering collaboration because um, we both think that collaboration is the, the core mission of, of our schools, not only between schools, but all the schools in general should put uh, a, a great focus on collaboration. The, the acronym team together, everyone achieves more, means that by collaboration, you can reach great goals and great success. So now it's your turn. Have you got any questions, doubts, comments, and so on? So the floor is yours. <laughs> well, first, thank you, Marisa and Elena, for the great presentation about your experience. We have uh, some very, very nice comments in the in the chat. Um, this is uh, that it's inspiring and really interesting experience. Um, before we go on to the Q&A portion, I'm going to share an evaluation form in the chat. Uh, please don't forget to fill that out. We want to hear your feedback on, on the webinar, how it went, um, how you liked it and how we can improve. Um, so I'm going to post that in the chat here. Um, we do have one question so far. It says, I am new uh, to eTwinning. I would like to ask if there is a minimum of school teachers involved in the project in order to become an eTwinning school, and if the way to create this kind of project is the same as you create a normal project. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, more or less it's the same. I mean, uh, normal projects uh, can imply collaboration among, between teachers and students. Uh, what Marisa was saying just in the end of the of the presentation: make your students collaborate with teachers, create e-training projects to realize this kind of collaboration. And yeah, it's the same. I think I don't know if Marisa you think the same yes <laughs> of course we are here we can answer if you want to write us also on the through the twinning platform we can reach emails and we we are i'm uh, available to answer but i think that uh, on the twinning platform you can find a lot of uh, advice on how to develop uh, new projects and uh, I think that is a, a, an incredible adventure for students and for teachers as well, collaborating in international dimension. Great, great. Uh, we do have another question. Do you know some teacher training uh, course in relation to co-teaching? There's another, uh, is just arriving, another course about collaboration. Collaboration, I think it is starting on the 20th of March, isn't it? And so uh, just on the Z platform or uh, European platform, I can't remember, there are different professional development uh, that improve collaboration. Uh, just uh, look for them because there are uh, there are lots of uh, courses. Elena, do you think uh, that? And also, um, well, it, it's not a precise answer to this question, but um, listening to this question, I was thinking that uh, a great um, practical course of co-teaching is through an e-twinning project. It's true that you don't teach at the same time with the same class, but it's true that you teach 
at the same time to different uh, to different groups to two or more different groups of students, but you are the same teacher for the same students, although they are in different countries. So it's a great professional um, course in practice on how to uh, to be co-teachers within the same framework of any training project. I know that it's not a specific uh, training course, but it's it's very useful. Learning by doing. Learning by doing. <laughs> Project-based learning in practice. <laughs> Okay, um, there's a question uh, in the chat. Have you recorded this meeting? Uh, yeah, as a reminder, uh, the webinar has been recorded and you will be able to find the presentation and the recording on the uh, on the ESSEP platform, uh, the European School Education platform. And I think uh, there are no more questions in the chat. If anybody has any more, uh, feel free to type type them in. Uh, otherwise, I will go ahead and uh, post this. Uh, do you have any? We do have another question. Do you have any tips for finding partners? <laughs> Browse the platform <laughs> and look for. Be be careful. It's uh, a suggestion for ourselves and also for other partners, be precise with uh, the description of your profile so that people can get in touch with you in the right way. No? Yeah. So browse, surf the platform and try to find teachers who can have more or less your same characteristics, uh, ideals, ideas and so on. Okay. Thank you very much. And I think that we're going to have to wrap up. Uh, once again, I'm going to uh, share the survey here. Please don't uh, forget to fill that out. Uh, Marisa and Elena, thank you once again for taking the time to speak to um, speak to teachers. And we hope the participants got a lot out of it. It seems that they did as, as uh, they're typing in the chat. So thank you once again. Uh, and to everyone else, uh, have a nice afternoon. Thank you. Thank you indeed for inviting us. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, bye. Bye bye. bye.